What's going on guys, it's your boy Jho bringing you a brand new video and today we got another Zer day which means Zer has returned for week number 31. So let's take a look at Zer in this hangar part of the tower and let's see what he has for the weekend. Items belong to the So here's his inventory for this week and let's jump right into the exotics. So for the Titan, we have the armamentarium chest armor. Carry an additional grenade, carry more ammo for heavy weapons, and carry more ammo for special weapons. I recommend uh, this exotic 100% for Titans. It is one of the best Titan exotics in the game, so if you don't have it yet, go ahead and pick it up. It's a really good exotic. For the Hunter, we have the ATS-8 Arachnid Exotic Helmet. It has causing damage with a grenade, reduces your melee cooldown, replenish super energy when you kill an enemy with a grenade, and your golden gun zooms in for accuracy when aimed. So this one is the one that came with the DLC of the Dark Below, and uh, this one is not really that good of a helmet. I think it's the worst helmet actually out of the four Hunter helmets in the game right now. Uh, I'd prefer buying something like this like Mask of the Third Man or the Acleo Phage Symbiote. Um, so if he does sell that in the future, I'd go ahead and wait for that instead. But if you really need to get to level 32 or something like that, then you can go ahead and buy this. For the Warlock, we have the Starfire Protocol Chest Armor. Gain an additional fusion grenade, carry more ammo for fusion rifles, and for heavy weapons. Uh, this one's a little bit similar to the Armamentarium except for the Warlock. And it kind of restricts you on what subclass because it gives you an additional fusion grenade. And that is specifically for Sunsinger. Uh, so it kind of limits you, not like this one where it's subclass neutral. That's why this one's really good. But this one's still okay. It's a decent exotic. I wouldn't say it's one of the better exotics or top tier exotics in the Warlock class. But if you need it to get to 32 or if you want an exotic and it's your first one, this is still a pretty decent one to start off with. For the weapon, we have the Soros Regime Exotic Auto Rifle. The bottom half of each magazine deals bonus damage and has a chance to return health when dealing damage. And when zoomed, this weapon fires slower but can cause additional damage. Pretty good auto rifle. It's still the best auto rifle in the game probably. But auto rifles did get nerfed quite a bit in the few patches that they had over the months of this game being out. So uh, Surf's Regime kind of fell off the map. It was one of the best PvP guns in the game until they started nerfing auto rifles a lot in PvP. Uh, so now auto rifles aren't really used that much in Crucible and it's all about hand cannons and uh, pulse rifles and stuff like that now. And then for the exotic upgrades for the Hunter, we have the Mask of Third Man and Crest of Alpha Loopy. This one's actually a really high stat roll, so if you want to upgrade this one, you can. But Mask of Third Man is really good. I like this one a lot. It's just a really good exotic overall. And it also has use in the Crozen Hard Mode raid as well. For the Titan, we have Helmosane 14 and Crest of Alpha Loopy again. Uh, Helmosane 14 is really good in PvE especially. I'd recommend upgrading this one if you have the older version because it's really good still. And then for the Warlock, we have Light Beyond Nemesis and Sunbreakers. Um, both of these are just average exotics, but Light Beyond Nemesis does have some use in Crota Zen Hard Mode, so you can go ahead and grab that one or upgrade that one if you need it. For the guns, we have Red Death, Last Word, Plan C, Thunder Lord, Super Good Advice, and Galhorn. Uh, the main ones you want to upgrade here are Red Death and Last Word for Crucible. Galhorn, really good obviously for raids, especially Crota. And then Plancy and Thunderlord are always decent ones. And a super good advice is super good advice. So that's about it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.